Hello viewers, welcome to your favorite channel Rising Legal. Today in this environmental law class, I am going to discuss an, an, one of the important topic that is National Green Tribunal 2010. Viewers, it is a specialized body actually set up under the National Green Tribunal Act 2010 for effective and expeditious disposal of cases relating to environmental protection and conservation of the forest and other natural resources. Second thing is that with the establishment of National Green Tribunal or NGT in short, India became the third country in the world to set up a specialized environmental tribunal only after Australia and New Zealand and the first developing country to do so. Third is that National Green Tribunal is mandated to make disposal of applications or appeals finally within six months of filing of the same. Number four is that the National Green Tribunal or NGT has five places of sittings. These are New Delhi is the principal place of sitting and Bhopal, Pune, Kolkata and Chennai are the other four places. Now viewers. Next point is that the tribunal actually comprises of the chairperson appointed by the central government in the consultation of the Chief Justice of India, the judicial members and expert members. They hold office for term of five years and are not eligible for reappointment. There are to be least 10 and maximum 20 full-time judicial members. Now what are the actually powers of the National Green Tribunals? The tribunal has a jurisdiction over all civil cases involving substantial questions relating to the environment, including enforcement of any legal right relating to the environment. The tribunal is not bound by the procedure laid down under Civil Procedure Code 1908, but shall be guided by the principle of natural justice. While passing any order, decision, award, it shall apply the principles of sustainable development, the precautionary principle and the polluter page principle. Now here is the NGT or National Green Tribunal actually deals with the civil cases under the seven laws. First is that the Water Prevention and Control of the Pollution Act 1974. Second is that the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Says Act 1977. The Forest Conservation Act 1980, the Year Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981, the Environment Protection Act 1986, the Public Liability Insurance Act 1991, and the Biological Diversity Act 2002. So viewers, that is our actually discussion. Actually, what is the meaning of the National Green Tribunal? and what are its function of the National Green Tribunal 2010. Hopefully you all actually understand our today's discussion. Lastly, I thankful to all the viewers who actually viewed our rising legal channel and I also want to say that lot of viewers are there who are actually watching our channel but still they are not subscribed our channel. It is my humble request to all of you to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Thank you to all of you.